Okay. March 22nd, we're going to do a real quick update on the larger plants in the garden. Uh, I'm watering everything today. I'm giving them all just pH to 6.5 water. And last time I gave this and this a bunch of cow mag and tiger bloom. I gave that one a bunch of um, cow mag and tiger bloom. That one I don't believe I gave anything, but we'll start with this one. We won't look under the hood because we did a pretty extensive look last time but the main thing to note about this one is this discoloration now i don't know what causes this so i'll have to go read up but that's basically the only development in the last five days with this plant peppers underneath are still looking good you can see kind of that like stickiness on top. I believe that's the Azimax, which I sprayed yesterday. So uh, I'll have to go look at the Azimax. I'm not sure if I spray that off afterwards. I don't think I do. It has to sit on the plant. But in any case, that's the stickiness. Just hit my head on the light. Uh, let's look at Hydra back here. Hydra looks pretty good. Uh, it's got that stickiness to it and it's uh, i mean this thing's a beast it's got one flower there so it's just beginning that segue into the flowering phase there is some telltale signs of nutrient burn which would be that blackening right there not it's not really blackening it's more of like a brown discoloration you can kind of see it there so i believe that's nutrient burn uh let's see what else can i say about this plant uh these these misshapen leaves are still there, even though I did give it cow mag. So we'll give it another week to see if those fix up. If not, I'm going to trim it because I don't know if the cow mag deficiency is reversible on leaves. I know some deficiencies are reversible and some are not. Uh, moving on to this looks like tree trunk here. Tree trunk, of course, has seen better days. Um, still not a lot of flowers we do have some new offshoots and it seems like it's trying to do like a second canopy if you look at it there's a lot of little pepper nodes in each of these little things uh we do still have a lot of misshapen leaves so i think if these misshapen leaves don't sh okay well that solves that problem um i think if these misshapen leaves don't kind of flatten out in the next couple days maybe another five days i'll trim them off and just assume that the calcium deficiency can't be reversed like some deficiencies can this leaf doesn't look too good a little crispy a little crispy and then a definite a definite burn there which is no bueno and that's you know my own fault uh, i have the habit of just juicing them too hard i thought okay let's just give them a ton of cow mag a ton of tiger bloom and set these puppies up for some flowering uh, but again it's something that I need to learn and that anyone who's doing in cocoa or, or our soil or anything hydroponics is I feel like the key is just small movements across the board and when I say board I mean like it kind of feels like you're playing a game here uh, it kind of feels like you're playing a game in that you want to make small adjustments and see how they work out and you just kind of move across the board chess board whatever just ever so slowly pick your pick your moves and and move slowly but uh this one definitely has some issues arising see now this is the same thing that was on that plant back there so we'll have to look that up it doesn't look good uh definitely doesn't look good it almost looks like um Who knows what it looks like but um probably someone in the comments knows leave a comment leave a like leave some criticism anyway uh same thing on this plant this is lil bro which is now big bro a lot of a lot of misshapen leaves still on here if these don't fix up in the next couple days i will trim them off um just to uh, wash my hands of that and allow the new growth to take the energy oh this is a crazy little stalk right here but uh this plant's looking pretty good 
Let's see if we can get a shot of the peppers. I mean, pepper formation on this plant has been great. And you can see, you can see that one right there. Nice. And then you can see that one, those two rather. And that one kind of just popped out super fast, which is surprising because on the larger plant, it was like, I had to wait months after the flowering and it's probably something that I was doing. But in any case, there hasn't been any aphids on these plants the last couple weeks. I have sprayed them with Azamax. I believe it was yesterday. So I spray them about every seven days with Azamax. Uh, it did give them a pretty severe trim, but I have a feeling that this thing, once this thing flowers, oh baby, it's going to be crazy. Um, bit of a bit of a brown discoloration here. As we can see, it's it's appearing on this plant and it's appearing on this plant. So that's clearly indi indicates, that's pretty bad. That's pretty gnarly. Uh, pretty much indicates that what I just did with the tiger bloom at the cow mag was not the move. Again, I think the key to gardening in general, is something that I'm learning is that you want very small, small moves small adjustments kind of like flying a, a plane uh you just make tons and tons of micro adjust not that i know how to fly a plane my uncle does he was showing me but um lots of micro adjustments the more micro adjustments the better and you really want to tune it in and tune it in slowly um so that's what's going on i gave them all plain water until runoff today and in five days, I'll check back and hopefully have uh, some more beautiful plants.